Welcome to another episode of Are Your Designs Any Good? Introducing Are Your Designs Any Good with Shimmy Morris. Right. I like whispering the song along. Anyways, in this episode, we are going to be covering some really cool t-shirts and some incredible, incredible artwork. And I'm really excited to show you. But before we get started, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to hit the 50,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And the only way I can do that is if you guys help. And as well as that, I just want to tell you the way these episodes work is first I'm going to talk about your design, what I think, do I like it, do I not like it, the targeting, and then potentially any improvements that could be made. But sometimes I jumble those up and just talk about them all in one or two sentences. So without further ado and without wasting any more of your time, let's get right into it with this first design, which is an absolutely incredible piece of artwork. This is amazing. If you're watching whoever did this, let me know in the comments down below if you actually drew this or if you just took it from someone. I hope you didn't take it from someone. Um, but if you did draw this, this is an incredible, incredible piece of artwork. I reckon you could target the gaming niche or the fancy movie niche. But to be honest, it's going to be hard to do targeting because I don't really know what it is. Maybe you do. I hope you do. Um, but you want to make this rectangle a bit smaller. It's very big on the... Um, it's very big on the t-shirt to make it a tiny bit smaller maybe add a white border or something make it look cool like that but it's just it's just a ridiculously good piece of artwork it's so cool so uh well done for that honestly well done strawberry cheesecake what calories this is a cute design really cute move it up so it's on the chest i'm gonna say that a lot move it up so it's on the chest and in terms of it looks like a basic graphic that you've taken from Placeit or Google, which is fine. Um, I like to always adapt just a tiny bit. I like the font of what calories. I think it's very good. It goes very well with the, the picture. Um, but in terms of the overall design, who are you targeting? Are you targeting people who don't care about exercise? Um, it's going to be hard to target. You can target people who like strawberry cheesecake. In terms of targeting, I feel like it could be quite hard. It's a very cutesy t-shirt, and I can imagine it looking really good on a sticker. This design would look really, really cool on a sticker. But main, main, main improvement, I would say, is just move it up a bit. It's got to be, like, on the chest. Moving on. Na, 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 hey, goodbye. Right, that's the song. With the Twitter logo. Come on, you know you can't use the Twitter logo. What is the point of me even reviewing this design? You you know you can't use Twitter logo. So let's move on. Not Twitter. That is not Twitter. That's TikTok. Sorry, I meant TikTok. You know you cannot use a TikTok logo. Before everyone can get to the comments and say, oh, you got it wrong. I corrected myself. Right, moving on. Cute cat. Sugo cat. Kawaii cat. It's just like an... Yeah, I think this is like targeting the Japanese anime market um it's a it's a clever design it's it's actually really really cool it's a bit over my head but in terms of designs go i think it's really really good and i reckon if you just move it up the design a bit up on the chest it could actually sell quite well um is if this is your original artwork then well done because the artwork is spot on um and then yeah in terms of proof, let's just move it up a bit and it's it's a very very cool design i really like it i think it's really really cool okay well, firstly, this is epic. Absolutely epic. Whether or not it's allowed, I have absolutely no idea. That is a Duracell battery backpack or like duffel bag in the shape of a battery. So firstly, very innovative. I think it's a super cool design. But I highly, highly doubt you can use the words Duracell or anything i mean you've copied them exactly it, so exactly it basically looks like a giant battery so i highly highly doubt this is allowed so i'm not going to bother going into this design for too long okay this is a jellyfish looking design it's really cool um i don't know who you're targeting i have absolutely no idea who you're targeting actually um the actual design is cool i like how it starts small it gets bigger and it goes back to not small but you know, it's got that shape going for it. So that's really cool. Um, in terms of improvements, I wouldn't, actually, I can't think of any improvements because I think it's a really, really good design. I love the colors. It's very cool. I can imagine something for like kids wearing this kind of thing. Um, but I, I don't really know who you would target. And I, I guess you could use the tags like jellyfish and animal and um, those kind of things in 
in Redbubble or, or Teespring or Amazon, wherever you're putting it. So yeah, you might have to solely base it on tags unless you have potentially a big page about this niche. I don't know. It sounds very unlikely, but I mean, it's, it's a cool, it's a cool design in terms of as designs go, it's a cool design. Quit talking, start doing. Okay. This is a brilliant saying, you know, quit talking, start doing the, the design is awful. You, oh, it's awful. You've got that. I forgot what the name of the effect is called, but you've got that talking and doing with the black and red and, and, and blue, like the 3d effect. I know, I know I asked what it was called a couple of videos ago, but I have forgotten again. It's a hard word to remember. And Anam- anamorphic maybe was it anamorphic? I think it was anamorphic. Anyways, moving on. Um, the quit and the start. I don't know what's going on there. Why, why is it like red, yellow with patchy red inside? It looks like you've, You've attempted to cut it out and just done a bit of a bad job. And then you've got this green and gold on top of that in like fireworks looking thing. And then you've got a pink man about to start running. There is way too much going on, way too many colors, way too much of everything going on. Basically, just, you know, keep the saying, but just do a better design. And if you think you can't do a better design, then pay someone on Fiverr because this is a solid saying. You just need a decent design. Okay, moving on to the next design. We've got a happy birthday with a cake and a kid with a mask looking incredibly scary, like a picture from the 60s or 50s or even 40s. Um, It's not centered. It's not high enough. Who is buying this? It's incredibly creepy. Like he's, it's all black and white except for his blue PPE mask. It's really creepy. Uh, I don't know who you're targeting. I guess you could target people who've got birthdays, up um, up and coming birthdays, um, or but you wouldn't. You target the parents of the kids who have up and coming birthdays because this is definitely a kids shirt. No self respecting adult will wear this. Um, but then again, I I no. Sorry, I don't like it. Occupy Mars Vision Twenty Twenty Five. That's cool. Why don't you target Elon Musk for this? Um, that it looks like there's an astronaut there. I'm not quite sure if that's an astronaut or not. Um, it looks like potentially another hand. It looks like three hands, all like this. And then that's there, but then it might not be. So this is quite a confusing one. Um, Vision 2025, we're not going to be in Mars by 2025, but you never know. You never know. Um, who would you target? You target people who like this kind of thinking, you know, that we're going to be going to Mars. I don't know how you target those people. I don't know where those people are or what they follow but but yeah in terms of the design it's it's an okay design there's, there's a lot going on you've got a lot of fonts here you've got vision 2025 is one font mars is another font occupy is another font and then you've got this weird hand thing and then a shooting star and there's just a lot going on in terms of improvements i would say you know if you want to keep this idea of occupy mars vision 2025 that's fine but just change the whole design get rid of the hands make it more of like one font and if that is an astronaut which i think it is then make it a bit more clear and apparent and um make the planet in the background actually look like mars that could help okay smoking is just a slow suicide okay that's graphic um Again, what is it with people doing black and white and then just one bit of it in color, like the cigarettes in color and the matches in color, but everything else is in black and white. And why is smoking capitals and suicide capitals, like full capitals, and then... I don't know what to say about this design. Look, I feel like you'll piss off a lot of people, um, which you would, which is fine because, you know, I think it's well known now that smoking isn't good. Um, I think everyone can agree with that, even those who smoke. But still, it's not something they want in their face on your chest. So there's that. Um, Also, this is a weird, weird design. I mean, he's very detailed. And then the guy smoking is like just a very simple clip art of a fat guy smoking. It's, it's It's a poor design. I have no idea who you target. Do you target those who don't like smoking? It's just odd. It's very, very odd birthday boy well this is better than the last one what is it with all these birthday boy uh was the other one birthday boy as well i don't remember that's happy birthday this is birthday boy Ooh. 
Birthday boy. Um, I... Why? I mean, I guess you can give it to your kid and they can wear it once in their entire life because by the time they come around to the next year's birthday, it's not going to fit them. So think about it. Who is spending £25 for a T-shirt to wear for one day, especially if it's a kid? Because no adult's going to wear this. Um, and then on top of that, yeah, it's a cutesy design. I mean, it's something maybe a four-year-old would potentially wear, a three-year-old maybe, if maybe a five-year-old of pushing it. Um, I don't know how you would target someone. You'd have to use organic searches and organic reach, you know, and just use a birthday boy, five-year-old, four-year-old, three-year-old, six-year-old, if you want to go that far. Um, it's like a cute little thing. I just don't think a parent should spend 25 quid on a T-shirt that their child is going to wear once on their birthday. What kind of lesson is that? Anyways, moving on. This is cool. I like this a lot. I really, really, really like this. This is good artwork. If you design this yourself, let me know in the comments down below. I always love, you know, talking to some incredible designers. Um, the fact that it's on like a creamy, yellowy, not yellowy, like a creamy kind of t-shirt is really cool. It makes it look a bit like Kanye West's kind of clothing style. I would make the picture slightly smaller, but other than that, it's a brilliant design. In terms of targeting though, I don't know who you're going to be targeting just because... I mean, you could talk to people who like flowers and plants and the environment and stuff. But I still, I don't know who you'd be targeting. It's quite hard to say. Um, it's cool if you're just using, you know, tags and SEO, description, title, bullets, that kind of thing. And sharing it like that, maybe sharing it with your friends and family and then they can share it. That would be quite cool. Or social media, if you have like a plant page or anything like that, or vegan, something like that. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But other than that, it's a very cool design. Just make it a tad smaller and you're golden. Not fast, but furious. Are they furious? Are sloths furious? Really? I don't know. That is a debate I'm willing to have with whoever designed this t-shirt. Um, in terms of the t-shirt, though, I can see it's clearly taken from Placeit, so well done. I hope you use my link. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's a really, really cool design. Um, the not fast is too near, and the uh, and but furious looks like it's very far, but even though the butt furious is even nearer but it's because of the black trees it makes it look further away so yes ignore that who would you target would you target animal lovers maybe sloth lovers i don't know this is very random it's a very random design would you target people who like the fast and furious franchise who knows maybe um in terms of improvements i would say change the design a bit don't just directly take it from place it have your own twist on it and you'll see i've got a video coming out where i take a, uh, an image from place it and i actually put my own twist on it and it looks really cool soldiers a sacrifice unmatched legends what is happening here all right you've got the font of soldiers you've got the font of a sacrifice i think that's a sacrifice it's really hard to read and then you've got the next font of unmatched too many things are going on in this design. Way, 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 way too many things going on in this design. I don't like the red. It's really, really hard to read. Um, I guess you're going to target soldiers, but then would a soldier wear a t-shirt where they're saying, you know, what we did is uh, a sacrifice unmatched by anything else, basically. I don't know if they would want to do that. Um, maybe they would. I don't know. But would they do it wearing this design? Probably not. And also the skull is just... A bit insensitive because, I mean, soldiers die and it's sad. So why would you want a skull on the t-shirt? It's not a very good reminder for some soldiers probably. And then you've got the guns there as well, just to finish the look. Look, if this was a pirate t-shirt, by all means, you're golden, right? If this is a pirate t-shirt, nice. It's not a pirate t-shirt, it's meant to be a soldier's t-shirt and it's just not there so the soldiers being legends is quite cool um so maybe work around that change the design make it a bit better and you're good to go and last but not least no this is last and it's the yeah this is this is last and well i spoke too soon when i said not least but anyways this is the last one for this week's episode and then we're going to go and we will continue with next week but this one says eat sleep movies loading repeat you have got one two three four fonts here um over five words so that's impressive well done um the eat font is shocking that looks like a three not an e the sleep font 
the colors all clash all of it you've got bright green red and deep blue uh, no 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 the design is okay as sorry the design is terrible the 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 phrase okay eat sleep movies loading repeat is okay but keep it classy you know where you've got the eat sleep something repeat or eat sleep repeat over here um i don't like this at all it takes up the entire t-shirt and i can't imagine anyone actually wearing it so you know keep the eat sleep movies loading repeat but maybe it would have loading just to eat sleep movies repeat much more simple i don't know what the movies loading is do you have a bad netflix connection in your house or something and your movies are always loading i don't know i don't experience this so i would say yeah the wording is good just change the design entirely and then you can target people who like movies other than that we are done for today's episode this was a, a longer than usual episode i did quite a few designs and i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments down below if you are liking this segment still if you are not liking the segment i can 100 percent stop doing it um so just let me know if you like this you know are your designs any good segment if you can think of improvements as well let me know in the comments so let me know in the comments down below if you uh if you're still liking these kind of episodes and i'll see you in the next video